Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jimmy. Um, doing another a uh, review on a uh, Cody portable on USB. Um, I did a previous video. Uh, it's an outdated uh, program that I use, but this program, it's a new program, is called Portable Apps, and um, <clears throat> it's really amazing. I love it. I have it on my USB, my 16 gig um, sand disk, and I have um, my favorite portable apps in it, and um, I take it everywhere with me. As if I need to execute a script uh, or run a command, you know, on another computer, I have my command uh, prompt portable app, Team Viewer. If I need to connect to another computer using another computer, um, Google Chrome and Notepad. <clears throat> What's pretty cool about this is uh, you can search in the portable portable apps uh, database. Um, of portable apps and it has so many it's so ridiculous uh, if you go here and get more apps and you uh, uh, narrow down by category or title um, have it right here as you can see it's a huge directory of portable apps um, I do have Cody I'm gonna make it portable and uh, I'll be uh, posting the exe file um, Matter of fact, I'll be posting a URL link to the uh, uh, Cody uh, exe file on my uh, video description area um, along with the portable apps um, program for you to install on the uh, USB. It's pretty uh, easy to install it. You just install and it's going to tell you to install for, for a portable device and then you install it wherever your USB drive is located and that's it. So let's begin. I'm assuming now uh, you have uh, the uh, exe file. You open it. Uh, yes. Next. Um, agree. Next. Right here you stop. You choose the location. Make sure you choose uh, desktop. Next. And then you install. <laughs> I'm really sorry for my uh, resolution. Uh, of this video I'm using my college laptop so it's not at its highest resolution um, uh, we're gonna pause the video um, it's gonna take a while for it to extract the installation has been completed on the desktop so don't run Cody finish uh, grab the Cody folder go inside and look for Cody exe you right click and you're gonna create a shortcut you're going to rename the shortcut Cody Portable. After you rename it, you re-click it again, go to Properties, and now we're going to try to make it um, executable. Right after uh, EXE and the two little uh, quotations, you space dash P for Portable. Now you apply it, OK, and uh, you drag uh, Cody portable onto the desktop and uh, you're going to try to open it and what's going to happen is it's going to create uh, a directory for Cody it's separate directory but it's going to be within the Cody folder um, just wait till it opens and you can reclose it the uh, directory is going to be called portable data let's exit out Okay, so now you see portable data here. What you do is you grab Cody portable again, drag it back into the Cody folder. And uh, what we're going to do with this folder, we're going to go to um, the portable apps uh, drive, which is your USB uh, or thumb drive. And what you're going to do is going to go inside portable apps folder and you're going to drag and drop Cody right in there. We're going to pause the video. It might take a little while, so I'm going to pause it and resume. Almost completed. So once completed, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to close the folder. Well, exit out the window. And we're going to go to Portable uh, Apps Program. going to launch that. 
if you don't see it here what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to apps and you're gonna refresh app icons and uh, there it is you have Cody in the uh, a portable apps program and we're gonna click onto it to test it there it is it's running right off my uh, USB um, I appreciate the viewing guys I hope this helped a lot uh, again I will be posting the portable apps program and the exe file um, in my video description area please subscribe uh, like comment and thank you